Hello everyone, this is Vishnu and you are watching Tech Tutorial video. I am here today with another Excel tutorial to talk about conditional formatting. We will talk about what is conditional formatting, when to use it, and then we will see some simple examples. Before we start with our examples, let's talk a little bit about what is conditional formatting and when to use it. Microsoft Excel is a great tool which can handle a tons of data. But when you have so many data, it is difficult to find some specific data quickly. For example, suppose you have thousands of salesperson and their sales amount for a particular month in an Excel. And you decided to give them bonus if they sold items for more than $2,000. It will take considerable amount of time to manually go by each and every data to see if a person is eligible for bonus. What if there is a quick way to make your data stand out visually where someone is eligible for bonus? This is where conditional formatting can help you by highlighting some specific cells based on your criteria. Like this. If there is a change of data in a cell, then formatting also will automatically change based on applied criteria. Now that you understand what is conditional formatting and when to use it, let's have a look at some examples to check further details about it. In Microsoft Excel 2007 and 2010, under the Home tab, check out the Styles section on the ribbon and there we will have the conditional formatting option. Similar types of conditional formattings are grouped together. Different categories are highlight sales rules, top or bottom rules, data bars, color scales, icon sets and then we have option to create new rule option to clear rule and option to manage rules. Let's have a look at rules to highlight sales. Here in the first tab of this Excel I have some data where I'll show you examples of rules to highlight sales. I'm going to select range of data then I'll go to conditional formatting highlight sale rules then I'm going to use greater than rule as soon as I click on that, it will open up a small window. There I can specify a number and if any value out of the selected data range is greater than 27, then that cell will be formatted with light red fill with dark red text. And here we have other options as well, but we'll try this first one say OK. So as you can see that all the values that are greater than 27 is formatted based on the rule. Let's try other options in this section. Select data range, conditional formatting, then we'll choose less than rule. Let's say 20 over here and we'll select a different formatting. OK select the next data range go to that section between and we'll say 20 to 90 and select a different one okay again select the data range conditional formatting highlight cell rules then equals to 35 and choose this one then another data range conditional formatting highlight cell rules then we'll go to duplicate values and we'll say red text okay and the next one and we'll use text that contains fail say ok select 
some dates go to conditional permitting use a date occurring let's say in last seven days and mark them with uh, yellow fill with dark yellow text okay so this is how you can make use of ready to use highlight rules but if you don't like any of the existing formatting and you want to change it by your own you can select the data range go to manage rule double click on your rule and then click on the formatting button it will open up the format cell window there you can choose any kind of formatting options available over here like starting from number tab font border fill for example if i choose a different fill color and i say ok that will automatically reflect on my data range now let's check out available top and bottom rules top and bottom rule also works in the same way so select the data range go to here and then use top 10 items we can very well change the top 10 items to some other numbers like top 3 and select a formatting say ok and it will highlight the top 3 numbers we have then select another data range let's try top 10% and we'll say ok then select another data range we'll try bottom 10 items we'll change it to 3 as we don't have that many data we'll select another data range We'll go here and we'll say bottom 10% select another data range go here let's say above average and say ok let's select another data range go over here and say below average say ok so this is how we can use top and bottom rules now let's try some data bars so let me apply some data bar rules to this data I have over here and basically like the size of the bar will depend upon the number if the number is too big the bar will be longer if the data is too small then the bar will be smaller like let's check out this 98 it is almost covering the entire cell and if you check out the number 6 it is just a little bit of the cell sometimes such kind of graphical representation may help you based on what kind of data you have also if you wish not to show the numbers if you just want to display the bars that you can do by going to manage rules you can click on your rule then check the box for show bar only and also you should be able to like change the color of the bar from here and the change will reflect on your cells now let's see some color scales the way color scale works is that the color of the cell will be assigned from a scale of colors based on value in it let's try one of them for example here I'm going to try green yellow and red color scale so a cell having value towards the largest number will have a darker green and the number which is towards the lowest 
will have a darker red and average values will have different flavor of yellow the last thing we will see today is icon sets here also similar to color scale an icon will be assigned to a cell based on the value of that cell let's try one of them for example a green upper arrow will be assigned to a cell where we have a larger number yellow sidewise arrow is for average numbers and the red down arrow for lower number so for example in this case we do not have any average number all the numbers are either too large or too small you can try other icon sets from the list over here and you will understand how each one of them actually works so this is all about icon sets this is all about today's tutorial covering some simple examples of conditional formatting I'll come up with another tutorial for some complex examples soon. Let me know if you like it. For any comment and suggestion, please use the comment section below. Subscribe to stay tuned. Thank you for watching Tech Tutorial video. Take care. Bye bye. See you soon with another tutorial.